You're never going to live that down, right? Oh, never. Uh, when the power goes out, it can disrupt your life in many ways, but have you ever thought about what happens to your electronics? Are they safe? Thor Shrock is back to compute this. So, good to see you, Thor. Good to see you see guys. You. Did you guys have power all weekend? Uh, yeah, I, we did. Yeah, I did. I was in Sioux Falls. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so so you, you did too? Yes, I had power. <laughs> so did, yeah. I went through a little bit of really hardcore rain after I passed Sioux City on yeah. Friday, but that was about it. Yeah, so. we were driving up from Kansas City when the storm hit Papillion and then was coming past and it went right across 29. We drove over mm -hmm. some nice high tension lines. They make the most awful sound when you drive over live high tension oh, lines. Scary. It's, like, it's like driving over guitar strings. Yeah. It's bad. Well, yeah, that's scary. Well, so that. you had yeah. it coming, coming back up, up 29. And then when you got home, you had no power. Damage, no Two power. days, no Two power. Days. Super heads up. Thank you to so, all the OPPD crews and uh, and mm -hmm. the police departments that are out there yeah. directing traffic for days and days and days on end and working yes. you know 24 hour yep. shifts. Yeah, so they got a power back on yesterday, so that was awesome. Putting overtime in. I um, think there's jumper cables on the telephone pole. Literally, like <laughs> well, no joke. I think there are. Oh, but wow. they they got the power up. Yeah. <laughs> they got it. Well, that's good. Uh, so, but these power interruptions, though, mm -hmm. how does it really affect electronics? Because we've got all of our electronics. We spend so much money on this electronics. Oh, yeah. We connect it to the power grid, and then what? Happens. Yeah, my son asked a fundamental question yesterday. He said, Dad, how can power be dirty? You know, dirty power. How, dirty how can power? it be dirty? And uh, one of the things is, you know, I mentioned they got our power back on, but it's, it's not real clean right now. It's like, you know, it, it's a patch job here, patch job there. Literally, they have wires like with connecting other wires across the poles and stuff, and it, it's bad. Um, but the power's on, so we're not complaining. But if you go into our kitchen and you listen, any kind of major appliance, like if you have a pump, like a, a swimming pool pump, or if like a, a stove mm -hmm. that uh, you'll hear it hum, anything with an iron core in it will hum when there's dirty power. And it's like you go into my kitchen and you can just hear hum, just the, the stove is humming hmm. uh, because the power is dirty right now. And that dirty power, when it hits your electronics, your electronics are designed for nice, perfect, clean mm -hmm. power. And you know, there's always a variance, right, in power. So they have, they, you know, every year they, that variance gets a little smaller smaller that they allow for and a little smaller and a little more precise because they can make everything a little smaller and thinner and cheaper and then eventually you end up with really sensitive electronic devices like tablets and phones and TVs and Xboxes and computers and things that dirty power can really really cause problems so like if you ever had a breaker pop in your house and then you go to flip the breaker back and everything gets power on, you just created like an epic surge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as the power has been trying to, to be restored to all these places, the power goes up, the power goes down, the power goes up, the power goes down, and it's just beaten the tar out of your electronics and your surge protectors and things like that. So it's really important to keep an eye on your electronics during this kind of stuff. If, you have the, uh, if your power is still out, I'd recommend like unplugging the computers and stuff. Just leave them unplugged so that when the power comes back on, they don't get punched with that first surge of really you know, mm -hmm. filthy, dirty power. So back to surge protectors, are those not enough then to, comp to keep your computer safe? They can. They, they, they will. Can? They'll, they'll protect you from surges. They don't protect, they don't condition the power. Mm -hmm. If you get one of those big battery backups, a lot of times those will have a power conditioning unit in it, and that's why they hum so nasty. They, they absorb all that dirty power and norm it out. But uh, your surge protectors actually, um, they're a disposable item. So when they get hit, they, they burn up a little bit of themselves to protect your equipment. And eventually what happens is they, they can't protect you at all anymore. They burn up everything inside. Yeah, yeah so they still work. You can still get power yeah, on them. You can still use it for Christmas lights. Glorified extension cord is yeah. all it is right. now. But the thing is people think they're still protecting and they're not. So if you had that giant oak desk you bought at the Mart like mm -hmm. 20 years ago and it had that surge protector on the side, one, yeah. yeah, it was good for like a week. Right. And now it's bad. Right. Um, so you want to plug that into another, because you're not going to move the desk. Mm -hmm. That's too heavy. Uh, so <laughs> you're going to plug that into another surge protector, put that in the wall or something to keep, uh -huh. a, to keep everything protected. So it's important, if you have one of our, uh, our surge protectors, that they actually chirp when they're bad. Yeah. So as long as your Schrock ones aren't chirping, you're good to go. That's nice. If they are chirping, we need, that's why I told you to buy two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to have an extra one on you. Uh, what are some of the problems that you can have on your computers, though, after maybe a, a surge or your power goes out and it comes back on? Yeah, we, uh, we put in orders this morning for power supplies. That's the big one. Uh, the power supply is the unit in the back of your computer mm -hmm. that your power cord goes into, and it supplies power to everything in the computer. The thing is, when we think our, our stuff is off, Nothing, nothing has a physical switch anymore. You remember back in my day, mm -hmm. you know, we flipped a switch and you could feel it flip, click, like the yeah. light switch on the wall. It's a physical switch. It would cut power to the device. Yeah, it actually switches, severs yeah. the power connection. Yeah. Well, now everything is a soft button. Mm -hmm. So like on your phone, there's no, like, you might feel a click, but they put the click there just to make you feel better. You know, when you push the home button on your phone and it goes click, click, that's just mm -hmm. to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why now with the iPhones, they, you press on it and it'll actually buzz to make you feel better because there's supposed <laughs> to be some tactile response from pressing a right. button. But now on like your computer, when you hit the power button, it's a soft button, mm -hmm. which means the computer always has power even when it's off. So those surge protectors get damaged, also hard drives. I've seen a big increase in the number of hard drives failing this week, over the weekend. So what about preventative <coughs> maintenance? How can mm -hmm. that help? 
Well, it can help because you, you want to eliminate the weak links before they're damaged, right? Because if you have something that's on the edge of, of failing and then all of a sudden you get hit with a, a big power surge or a power outage or something like that, that can cause it to push it over the edge and fail. Mm -hmm. uh, preventative maintenance though, is good to keep everything running smoothly and efficiently, but after you have a big event like this, you know, preventative maintenance doesn't protect you from a, a power supply blowing up. It doesn't stop your hard drive from dying. It just lets you know if you're having problems or you might have problems in the future mm -hmm. that we can get them taken care of ahead of time. My generator broke over the weekend. I took it to a uh, small engine repair in Ralston, got it fixed up. They did a great job, got it in the same day back to me. Um, and he's like, well, what's in here? Do you want me to do preventative maintenance? He listens to the radio show and I'm like, yeah, go ahead and do it. I believe in what I preach. Yeah, yes. Do it. So he did, and that thing runs so much smoother now, and the power coming off it is cleaner. So preventative maintenance yeah. can do a lot of good things, mm -hmm. not just for computer equipment, but for all kinds of equipment. Mm -hmm. But the preventative maintenance is super critical after you have uh, an event like this to make sure everything is okay. Because if you have something that's failing, it may take a long time to become a serious failure, and you don't want to end up in the data recovery lab or something like that. You want to yeah. catch it when it's early and inexpensive to fix. Well, yes. surge protectors, an important item. It's a good reminder with the power outages we're having right now. Right now, you need to get your surge protectors. Make sure they're working. You guys carry those. You got you got another shipment coming in. Yeah, we do have one coming in. We just we How just finished. They? How much are they? are about sixty bucks a piece for a good one. And, yeah. and that sounds expensive, but it really it protects lasts. all your yeah. It's your, worth it. Well, yeah, I mean, equipment. you can get a cheapo one for you know ten bucks at Walmart, yeah. but it's the number of jewels. Look at the number sure. of jewels. Eight hundred jewels isn't enough to do anything. Yes. Okay. Well, you've um, got more jewels is better. Ask your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Shrock Innovations. Uh, three locations. You got one at Village Point, Papillion, and then of course the service center in Lincoln as well. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it.